Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm about to show you the ultimate kayak fishing trailer. What is going on, my friend? How's it going? Hey guys, listen. In today's video, we are going to be introducing you to On The Water Innovations. And this is the man behind it right here, Mr. Denny Romero. Right behind us right here are a, just a sample, just a, just a smidge of what he offers. And what are, without a doubt, the most, uh, the most technically advanced kayak fishing trailers on the market but you're not just limited to kayak fishing trailers right you can build anything yeah anything right. that you want any, to haul any weldments so anyway he is uh evolving the brand from on the water innovations to what's it going to be called still going to be on the water on the water innovations we're, but, we're going to go off of otwi but i think the o should be off-road and then the t should be trail and the w should be whatever you want to and then the i should be innovations but anyway <laughs> let's go take a look at my trailer first the one that i custom ordered uh, from Denny, let him walk us through it, and then we'll show you kind of the different configurations that he offers, and then anything that you can dream up, this guy can make it. So Denny, introduce me to my new trailer. So I've been seeing this thing in text pictures and back and forth communications now for a little over a month. He actually built this thing really quick, but then Corona kicked in, and so with Christy testing positive, he was like, nah, bro, you're gonna need to stay, <laughs> keep that in Tennessee, and now I get to uh, I get to see my trailer for the first time. So Denny, what is this model? What trailer model is this? This is the model, I call it the turning light roll cage, and it's basically, that's exactly what it's called, it is. It's a roll cage around your trailer. This one, you can mount tents on top of it, you can take another trailer on top, of, uh, ca another kayak on top of it. You have your, a mesh that goes on top of the trailer to take bags, coolers, anything. It has the DZ box on the front of it for all your camping needs. We got your rod tubes on the side. It's got uh, aluminum blacked out rims. It's got reverse lights. It's got rigging lights. It's got a light inside the box. So let's talk about the base trailer and okay. then what makes what Denny does special is that you can take your base trailer and then I said, ooh, can I do this or can I do that? And the answer to that question with this guy is yes on all of it. So let's go take a closer look at the trailer and we'll, we'll talk about what you can get in the base turning light and then kind of some of the stuff that I dreamed up that this guy made okay. a reality. So let's go take a closer look. Basically, we started with a turning light frame, which is this. And then this is the, what we call this the open end. You can actually put a kayak on top of there. Like you can see on this one, you can put one, two rod tubes. We got reverse lights, rigging lights, or you can go with a full row cage on it. There's a lot of configurations that you can do on the tourney light. And what's really cool about this trailer is that you got your spare tire, you got your basic trailer setup. And one of the things about sit on top kayaks is most trailers have crossbars. And those crossbars, which I've had forever, uh, cause oil cans or they cause warpage in your hole and so what Denny's done is come up with these bunk um, pipes or tubes that support the boat the full length of the boat and with you know modern kayaks getting heavier and heavier that is uh, an even bigger deal but what I really like about this is you've got your rod tuber on the side you can put multiple tubes on there if you want mm -hmm. right but he's got this rigging light and if you've ever fished in a tournament or if you've ever tried to rig up in the morning before dawn you have no idea how valuable that little light is right there. Not having to deal with a headlight, having everything lit up so you don't have to scramble to get ready. And then you just back down to the water and slide your kayak in. So, so Denny, talk about your, your, uh, your bunk design there and how you came up with that in a little bit. You know, just, just walk us through how that works. Well, all the bunks are uh, they're steel and they're actually fully adjustable to fit most kayaks. The, there's only one kayak that I can't adjust for and that's uh, natives. And, it's got a round hole on the bottom, but uh, once these bunks fit into your gunnels and you strap it down, the kayak go, doesn't go front, back, side to side. It stays where you put it. So talk about this little tapered down design drop pipe setup that you got in the back back here. What's the thought process behind that? All right, with, uh, with the bent bunks, it actually, you don't have to back in the water as far. 
and what it does is it basically funnels your kayak straight into the middle of it so it opens up you just hit your kayak here and it, you can pull it right in it just makes it a lot easier for wet launching cool all right so now let's take a look at the trailer from my from yours truly so with the roll cage basically it comes with just the cage right and you can put the kayak on the top yeah and then so what what i opted for is the first thing that i came up with is i wanted this dz box for putting my power pole pfds all that essential stuff that you always got to have but just takes up the whole back seat of your truck or the bed of your truck and it's just hard to deal with or you forget it at home so if it's in that box and locked up yeah. it's safe um but i wanted to put that there and denny was like yeah no problem man and he mounted it basically on like two inch hitch receiver with a frame so that could come off if i want to yeah. uh down the road and then you also have these two inch receiver hitch options for other things. So one of the things that I wanna do in the future, Denny, is I wanna take that frame and put a, a two inch hitch receiver in the front and put a bicycle mount. Okay. So I've got a bicycle mount on the front for mountain biking and then I can still slide the trailer in. Um, you know, being a, a big fan of DZ products and, and love this eight, uh, hex rail system on the back of my truck, I was like, hey man, can we duplicate this, you know, right onto the trailer? So I ordered these from DZ, had them shipped here uh denny welded up the bracket to mount right to the trailer so now i've got this nice track system with the molly panels where i can pretty much do on the side of my trailer uh exactly what i can do on the side of my truck it increases flexibility for mounting additional fuel tanks to run in the generator when you go off the grid uh, taking extra water mounting emergency first aid kits uh you know you can put your uh your high lift jack on there you can put your shovels you could put uh, traction boards. One of the things that I'm gonna do is get an extra set of the traction boards. I'm gonna mount them on the side here. It really does turn your kayak fishing trailer into the ultimate adventure rig. And then kind of a last minute audible was uh, I had ordered a rooftop tent uh, from CVT and I was gonna put that on top of the truck and they came out with this new low profile tent and realizing that I'm trying to social distance even more and I'm trying to get off the grid even more I went ahead and ordered the second tent and uh, basically spent my stimulus check on that. You know what I mean? Because what do rednecks do? But buy toys with their stimulus check. So I got my uh, I got my rooftop tent and decided to have this sent to Denny. And he was like, yeah, man, no problem. Threw this on top of the trailer. Uh, we would be able to show you the mesh basket that's on the top, except for the fact that at the last minute I put this... Uh, sent this tent to him he mounted it and now i've uh, got the mesh that i can throw in there when i take the tent off and just crazy amounts of uh configuration and then these oversized tubes i had grown to hate tubes on my truck before and then i ordered the top water box mm -hmm. uh from yakima and i have a love-hate relationship with that thing because the lid is so flimsy yeah uh, it it takes you five minutes to get your rods in there and then 25 minutes to get the lid closed so I'm still kind of on the fence about that. I may try to figure out a way to, you know, screw some shims in it or something to stiffen it up. But yeah. these right here look like they're going to be the ticket. Oh, have yeah. you had anybody have any problems with these tubes at all? I mean, so they're basically just oversized sewer pipe yeah. with flange caps on the end, right? Yeah. And these are the nicest flange caps that I've seen. And if you guys have ever heard of people being frustrated with the rod tubes, it's mostly because they're the six inch, which are really small. And you can only get like a rod and a half in there uh, without taking the reels off. And so with these, these are what, eight inch? Eight inch, and basically you gotta use use rod sleeves to protect your rods. And that way, and the easiest thing to not have a headache is put anything with one hook or worms in first, and anything with treble hooks towards the back. That way it doesn't get all binded up in there. Yep. And then if you use those real wraps and things like that, yeah. those things are also a lot better and they actually keep you from dealing with the frustration of your rods and reels anywhere, much less being inside yeah. of a tube. Um, but yeah, these are really for, in my opinion, for like extra uh, rods, uh, by and large. And one of the things I'm gonna do is put my parking pole in here. I'm gonna put my power pole in there. Uh, but one of the things is with my regular rods, I just throw them inside the kayak because that's one of the cool things about yeah. the Bonafide is you can put the, the rods right inside. But let's bring it around back. And this is the stuff right here that is really awesome. This is stuff I, I honestly, I didn't even know this feature existed on the trailers uh, until Denny started sending me pictures. So talk to me about what this lighting setup is here. So right here we got our on off switch for like nighttime rigging. This is the rigging lights on the row cage. And these are actually your reverse lights. They only work when you put the truck into reverse and it'll light everything behind you, making backing up into boat ramps and stuff at night. It'll be like backing up during the day. Well, 
that's my trailer. So talk to me real quick about the wheels and the axle setup and kind of the weight rating and any of those technical specifics that some of the, uh, the more advanced rednecks like ourselves out there might want to know about. Is there anything special or is it just a standard trailer axle? It's a Dexter sealed axle with okay. bearing buddies on it. Okay. So you can wet launch with it. It's a 2000 pound axle. The leaf springs are about 1500 pounds, but yeah, I don't think you can add enough weight on here. And so what would you say that hurt. this trailer weighed uh, weight rise the weight. naked without all of the, oh, the naked, extra crap? Oh, naked, naked maybe over. 500 pounds. Okay. So probably 850 with all the stuff that I got yeah. under Because this yeah. tent's actually about 175 pounds. Yeah. So with the tubes and the bunks and everything, we're probably pushing... Yeah, about eight, eight fifty. Yeah, okay. Maybe a, about a thousand pounds. Okay, so and and I know a lot of people say, well, that trailer is too heavy. I want something lighter. The heavier the trailer is, the better it's going to ride down the road. It won't be jumping all over the place, just throwing everything out of your like kayak. That. Well, man, I hear that we've got a good buddy of ours that drove in last night and is slumbering over there it might, somewhere. It might be your buddy. And I think his trailer is back there. So why don't we do this? Why don't you go um, roust him out of the bunk? while I back up and put that kayak on this trailer so we can get loaded up to head out of here. And then we'll take a look at his trailer. All right, guys, so listen, I have got to get back on the road. We got a long ways to get back to Tennessee to put this adventure rig into play, but I had the special pleasure of having a really good buddy show up here to pick up his trailer at the same time. So if you guys have ever seen me smashing, measuring boards with framing hammers or measuring big fish, or if you've ever looked at tourney x photos and seen fish laying on these really sick awesome measuring boards this is the guy behind that this is duke uh from catch products catch co catch innovations catch all that k-e-t-c-h i'll link that up in the description box but the reason he's here is he's here to pick up a trailer and uh it's kind of one up me a little bit so let's uh let's turn it over to this guy and let him uh actually we're gonna i'm just gonna film denny walking duke through his trailer because this is the first time you've seen it right yeah it's the first time so he showed up this morning but he was asleep back here in the camper trailer in the driveway got in at like three o'clock in the morning so now we're going to take a look at his trailer because yeah you're not going to see it as nice in the rain because the sun's not out but it's actually got red white and blue uh let's cut to an eagle scream sound right now because you should hear that i can't do it the eagle scream right now all right so let's get it denny Walk that guy through that trailer, and let's... Holy crap, look at that thing. All right, so Duke Duke likes his big trailers. This is a 102-inch wide Turning Plus. It'll hold two PA Hobies in between the fenders. Easy to wet launch. Uh, we got a rack up here to put anything he wants to take with three cargo straps. We wanted to go over the top on this one, so we actually came up with uh, putting two big coolers here. So how big of a cooler will this hold? We're going to put two, 65. 265. 265 Orion. And then what's going to go up there? Anything. I'm not Anything? quite sure. Body? Yet. Yeah. You yeah. can you sleep up there. I, I actually laid up there. You, you laid up there. I've laid up there. So I can lay up there then. Yeah, that's 80, 80 something inches wide. <laughs> Holy cow. So. Wow. All right. So basically, once you get your cooler in here and you strap it down, you can't get the cooler out of here. You can put a padlock on this side. You'll never get that cooler out. Right now we're running just a pin, and that locks it. But once you put a padlock, but now that, let's say once you want to get into it, what do you have to do? You just oh. take your pin out, dude. That you get in your cooler right here. We got a little T cut out for a garbage bag, whatever. So you're drinking your beer, you're done. Throw it in the garbage. We we got to wrap the tubes. This is gonna have two rod tubes on it. Oh, so it's still not done. No, it's still not done. It's still missing caps on the back. You're gonna have to have a follow me truck behind you. It says wide load. He's putting me to work today. <laughs> wrapping them tubes. Holy cow! All right, he's got Dude. four rigging lights on all four posts. He's got his reverse lights. He's got four. This trailer actually has ten cargo straps on it. One in the front for the coolers, two for the coolers, three up top, and four for the kayaks. All right, so let's talk about this, what's going on back here with this whole configuration. All right, so this is basically a bumper and also it works as a ramp. For loading and unloading, you only have to have this bumper in the water maybe three inches underwater and you can load and unload. This right here is a jack point. If you get a flat down the road, 
you take the jack off of the front of the trailer, put it right here, and you can pick the whole side of the trailer up. Uh, that was this. one of the, the new improvements is going to be on my old trailer when Denny takes it back <laughs> from the UP. That, is, in a couple that is that is clever. So all adjustable bunks. That's about it. About it? That's Come about on. And what we're going to do, we're also going to put arms, and we're going to put uh, barbecues on these back two arms. That way we can do a little grilling at the ranch. Right here? Have a little yeah. beer. Yeah, it's actually what we're going to do is we're going to have a an arm that comes out with a barbecue on it and when we want to use it we'll lift it up turn it and the barbecue is sitting right here <laughs> so have a little well, bit if you need anybody beer. to barbecue that guy right back there is good at eating it <laughs> he already, he's, he's really, he's he's really good you already volunteered yep cool so if anybody hey, ever wants to see what aj mccorder is going to look like 30 years from now bam right there that's <laughs> terry right there bam aj aj look in your future actually i, I get brad pitt a lot <laughs> <laughs> or or AJ McCorder. Let's do a quick cutaway to AJ McCorder right now, or and then. Poo -poo. All right, man. What do you think, dude? It's incredible, man. It's uh, I've I've owned one of Denny's trailers. I've got about a hundred thousand miles on the last rig that he built me, and uh, to be honest with the. With those goofy rod boxes, it's just a little too wide going down the road, and we've been shooting mostly video, and I've been using mostly two kayaks. So this has been, this is just a, a much needed upgrade as opposed to dragging. The, the old one was about 110 inches wide. Don't tell the cops because it's not street legal. Oh, what's touching the road is 102. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this it, 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 I, this kind of ended up as a little bit of an accident when a, when a customer decided to change his order. Denny talked me into uh, into upgrading the rig, but man, I'm stoked! It's uh, what what a, what a great trailer. Well, there's a saying called "Happy Accident." I think that happy this accident. would be a very happy accident. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, listen. If you are looking for the ultimate kayak fishing trailer, adventure trailer, if you're looking for any type of anything custom, or you just want a good base trailer. Then this is the guy you need to call right here. So Denny, tell them where they can find out more about you, the company, the trailer options, and uh, how they can order one for themselves. Uh, you could either find me on Facebook at OnTheWaterInnovations.com, or, or or just yeah the website and my phone number's on there. Text me anytime. We never close. We're here for you. Entrepreneur, baby. Hey, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Again, if you want to find out more about Catch Products or On The Water Innovations, all the links to all the stuff will be down in the description box. I'll see you all in the next video.